Lockdown and COVID have presented so many challenges. And amongst those has been the closure of theatre, live performance venues and museums and galleries that so many of us enjoy going to. What's been amazing is the way that people and companies from around the world have responded to this by providing so much online content that we can enjoy from our own computers and our, in our own home. There's so much out there that it can often be difficult to know where to start. So let me take you through some of our favourites. Whether it's the National Gallery in London, the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam or the Guggenheim in New York, so many galleries across the world have got amazing virtual tours. We've selected just two. The Tate Modern, with its ever-changing exhibitions of modern art, allows you to meet the artists and explore the inspiration behind their work. Or the Courtauld Gallery, which actually takes you on a virtual tour and allows you to zoom in on all their works of art, whether it's dead people or impressionists or modernists. Or alternatively, if it's not a gallery, there's a link to Tom Quigley's art school, where you can actually go and find out how to refine your techniques. For dance, I asked our head of dance, Miss Fitzgerald, for some advice, and she recommended three really good opportunities. First of these, have a look at CBBC and their show Celebrity Supply Teacher, and internationally famous ballerina Darcy Bussell is their most recent special guest. Or the English National Ballet are actually offering free online lessons for those of you interested in improving your dance. If you already think you're skilled enough, then the BBO are running a dance competition. So select one of their pieces of music, choreograph your own dance, video yourself doing it, and then send it off. And who knows, you may even win. For those of you looking for something more musical, the Royal Opera House is streaming many of its operas and performances. Some of them are for subscription, but there are many free ones as well. The Royal Philharmonic Orchestra has done a fantastic virtual performance of Benjamin Britten's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, which is not only an exciting piece of music, but a way, great way to explore and discover the instruments. And for something a little bit more fun, why not try the Blob Opera and create your own music using these operatic blobs of plasticine? If you're looking for theatre, there's a link to Treasure Island the Musical, particularly good for those Year 7 who may be studying this at the moment. For others of you, there's uh, a link to the Globe Theatre. Now you can not only have a tour around this wonderful old building, but also see some fantastic live performances of Shakespeare's plays, including, of course, Romeo and Juliet. The BBC have available Talking Heads by Alan Bennett, a wonderful series of monologues that are well worth dipping into. For those of you interested in museums, what better place to start than our very own Roman baths? They've teamed up with Google Street View so you can take a tour of the baths virtually. Those interested in the wonderful wizarding world of Harry Potter, try the Natural History Museum where you can explore not just the fantastic beasts with Newt Scamander, but also the fantastic beasts in our own real world. My personal favourite is the British Museum, where you can go onto an interactive timeline and zoom back thousands of years and select particular artefacts from different places across the world and find out more about them. Links to all of these resources are available on the Culture in Quarantine webpage on the Hayesfield website. We'll be adding to these each month. If you discover any hidden gems, then let us know. Don't just sit at home thinking that culture can't happen because we're in lockdown. Go out and find and take advantage of all of these opportunities. Have fun. <laughs>